This is a kick-ass cigar, man. This is good. The El Diablo del Deserto. The Devil of the Desert. It's good. I forget who makes this. It's, uh... I think it's a small company. But, uh... It's a kick-ass little cigar, man. A little Robusto. About to go for a little run. Got my chartreuse shirt on for high visibility. Got some really unique, distinct flavor notes going on uh, well overall it's yeah fantastic stick it's got some sort of uh, nice retro ale little little strong on the retro ale <clears throat> Kind of a sandiness. <clears throat> I love unique sticks. I mean, it, I think it could be a bit more balanced, but it's got such a unique thing going on with it. It's just really fantastic. Got like a like a uh, like a flakiness, like maybe like flaky that flaky like uh, uh, baklava flaky. Flaky like nuttiness, like flaky pastry nuttiness. Got a really nice little trail around here. That it's like right down the street. It's a towpath. And, uh, I like to uh, start out walking, just finish the cigar, and then usually run a little bit. And uh, it's just nice, nice, nice little walk with the cigar. Get a little jog in on the way back. There's a little bit of a, like a jamminess in there. Kind of reminds me of like a flaky pastry dough with a little, like a thin layer, a very thin layer of like strawberry jam in there. I wouldn't say it's a dessert stick, but it's kind of like, you know, it could lean that way a little bit. I'd say it's fairly rich. Mm. Got a powderiness to it, like maybe powdered sugar on top of that little pastry. I don't know, it's, yeah. Really uh, fantastic stick. Unique. Very unique. I would recommend trying at least one of these. El Diablo del Deserto. Mm. 